I learned a lot of lessons with one of these in my hand. The main lesson is get rid of this thing as fast as you can when a blitz is coming. But what I loved about being a quarterback was not throwing a touchdown pass per se, but really taking 10 of the men with me down the field against difficult odds and circumstances and pushing the ball in the end zone. When I watch Tom speak, I realize I'm in the presence of extraordinary talent. Incredible talent, incredible engagement, incredible performance. Martin Luther King did not pronounce at the Washington Mall that I have a strategic plan. I mean, that wasn't it. He said, I have a dream that tapped into people's hearts and it tapped into the passion that all of us carry, that we can see a brighter and better future. What he does is he brings you into the moment and you walk out there saying, that was unbelievable, that helped me. He has them laughing out loud at one moment and wiping away a tear at another. He became one of us. And by the time he left, everybody left there wanting to achieve their personal best. Connecting and engaging with an audience is critical. When you connect with people at the human level, trust is built. Stories have power. They capture the heart and the mind. And long after I'm gone, people can remember a powerful story. They can smell it and they can taste it and they can see it and they can replay it over and over again. I, I want the audience to write their story. I want that individual who sits in the seat to write his or her own story about where they're going. It, it builds this sense of something great. It, it builds this determination to move forward, that we can get it right this time, that we can make it happen, that we can actually pull this off. You see, a leader's voice, what it does, it, it inspires and it liberates and it builds hope for the future. And that's where we need to take people. People are hungry for hope.